Oh, hi everyone, and welcome back to Uptown Kids, where things have got a little bit uh, sticky this month. Why so sticky? Well, we often end up in sticky situations in life, and when we do, we have to get unstuck. We have to keep going, and that's what they call determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. That means when you get stuck, God can help you get unstuck and finish the job. Let's take a look at this mum's memory verse. Did you try and learn it this week while hopping on one foot? Yeah? If you did, then please send us your videos in of you doing it. It would be great to see them. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6 verse 9. No matter what the sticky situations life throws at us, we can always praise God. He is always with us. In Psalm 34 verse 1, David wrote this, I will thank the Lord at all times. My lips will always praise him. Let's worship God right now.
We've been making our way through God's big story this year and it's been a fun, wild ride. This month, we've been looking at what happened when the church first got started. It was just after Jesus had died, he came back to life and was lifted to heaven. Last week, we saw how Jesus' followers, who are also called the apostles, spoke about God and 3,000 people came to faith in Jesus in one day. The apostles carried on doing miracles and they healed people. And they also met in the temples and spoke about God. But the high priest, he didn't like that. The high priest was angry with them. In fact, he was really angry. I'll tell you, are you looking at the screen now? If you are, show me your angry faces. Are they really, really angry? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Quite impressive though, don't you think? Anyway, let's have a look at what happens next. Stories of the Bible. The Apostles and the High Council. These are the Apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. See ya. After he went to heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be their helper. Then the apostles spread the good news about Jesus everywhere they went. The apostles performed many miracles and healed the sick. They met regularly in the temple in Jerusalem, and many came to believe in Jesus. Huh. All this made the Jewish high priest and his officials very jealous, so they arrested the apostles and put them in jail. But an angel of the Lord came in the night Whoa! and opened the gate of the jail. The angel told them to go to the temple and tell people about Jesus. Got it. So at daybreak, the apostles went to the temple and told people about Jesus as the angel told them to. Meanwhile, the high priest and his officials called together a meeting of the high council. They sent the guards to bring the apostles out of jail, but when they went to the jail, they were gone. Wait, what? They returned to the council and reported that the men were gone. Guess what? Then someone arrived and announced that the men who were in jail were standing in the temple, teaching people. Go get them! The captain went with his temple guards and arrested the apostles. Come on, you. They brought them before the high council. The high priest said, We gave you strict orders never again to teach in this man's name. Um, yeah, but... But Peter and the apostle said, We must obey God rather than any human authority. They told Jesus' story that he was raised from the dead after they hung him on the cross and that now he was in heaven. They told them that Jesus did all these things so that people of Israel would turn to God and be forgiven for their sins. This made the high council furious, <laughs> and they decided to kill the apostles. But one Pharisee named Gamaliel stood up <clears throat> and ordered that the men be sent outside the council for a while. Then he warned his fellow Jewish leaders that killing the apostles might bring more trouble than good. He advised them to leave the apostles alone. Not a good point. The other Pharisees saw his point and accepted his advice. They called the apostles in and had them beat up, but they didn't kill them. They ordered them to never speak in the name of Jesus, and then they let them go. The apostles left the high council happy that God thought them worthy to suffer for preaching the name of Jesus. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they continue to teach and preach this message. Jesus is the Messiah. That didn't look much fun for the apostles, did it? There were some real scary moments there, but they still, they knew they had to keep going. They had to finish what they started. 
That just shows how determined they were to tell people about Jesus, even after everything they'd been through. They knew how important it was to do this. Keep going, even when it gets tough. They made the wise choice to keep going because they knew that God was with them. And God is with us too. We've got some pictures here. I've just started colouring mine, but hopefully you'll have them. And what I would like you to do is colour them in yourself. And then once you colour them in, put them in the order that's happened in the story. But before you do that, coming up on the screen will be some questions about the, sto the story. Spend some time together just going through it and talking about it. Then once you've done that, get going on your pictures. Anyway, thanks for being with us this week and we'll see you next week. Bye.